Okay, for this video, we're just going to do how to make the arms. Um, so, once again, this is going to start with the same magic ring, six single crochet, and then 12 decrease around. Um, so, ugh. one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, and then tighten that ring and do our increases around. That first stitch is always tricky. One, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. All right. So I'm going to just stick my stitch marker here. Helps if it's open. All right. So if we look over there at the directions, the next round is to increase single crochet round up through 18. So this is just like the large eye. Um, so we're just going to do, goodness, drop my hook all over the place today. So an increase, two single crochets together, and then a single crochet. And then an increase, And then a single crochet. Increase. And a single crochet. Increase. Single crochet. Increase. single crochet, increase, and then single crochet in that last stitch, and put my stitch marker back in. Alright, so for round four, the pattern is calling for me to switch to a new color, but I feel like this monster only needs two colors in his arm, so I'm just going to skip that color change and wait for the next point. Um, I say that this pattern calls for as if I didn't write it, but changed my mind. Alright, so round four, we're just going to single crochet around, which is just a single crochet in each stitch all the way back to that marker. Um, and this kind of is why... I like the markers, so now when I'm just doing 18 stitches in a row, I don't need to count to 18. I just know that my last stitch goes in the marker stitch.
Alright, so once again you see it's starting to curl in a little bit. And that's this is the right side and this over here is the wrong side. So I'm just going to flip that back through the other way. Um, so that our right side is out and our wrong side is in. Um, Alright. So round five is we are going to de decrease and then single crochet all the way around. And remember that invisible decrease. So we are going to pick up that first bar with our hook and then just flip it around and pick up the first bar of the second stitch with our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then just a single crochet. And then continue that. Oops. Decrease. Single crochet. Once again, we're going to just pick up the first bar, the second bar, pull through both of them, yarn over and pull through both of them, and then do a single crochet in the next stitch. And then pick up those two bars, single crochet. Pick up those two bars, single crochet, decrease, single crochet. All right, so now that we have those 12 stitches, um, actually am going to uh, fasten off and switch to another color I think hold on let me read this yeah I'm gonna switch to another color so I'm just going to cut that and then I'm going to do my slip stitch to fasten off so slip stitch and then just pull the yarn through and go flat. Um, what I'm going to do here is shove both of those ends into the pocket of this hand. And I've decided I actually want them a little puffier than this. So I'm going to get a little bit of stuffing. So this is just some fiber fill. It's probably too much. And just shove that in, in here. All right. We're gonna call that good enough. So I want orange for the other part of my hand. Um, so what we're going to do now, if you read the instructions, it says fold in half and single crochet across connecting two stitches. So one from the front and one for the back. And it's gonna close up our little ball here as we go across. So what I mean by that is um, I have this single crochet on the back edge and this single crochet on the front edge. Oh my goodness, there we go. So I'm going to basically crochet those two together and then if I do this again with the next two in line I've got this one back here and then this one in the front and I'm pretty much going to connect all of these stitches across. So I've got this one here and this one in the front. And you can see all of those, and that's pretty much how we're going to seam up the hand of this little Javier. Um, let me just leave all of these in here for a second. And I'm going to start on the opposite side. So what I'm going to do is 
pick up one of my ends. And these are a little tricky. They don't have to be perfect. Um, and I'm going to just kind of hold my spare yarn here, pick up, and chain. I'm going to go right back into those same two single crochet and then do that for the next one. So one stitch, two stitch, single crochet, um, and pick up one at the front here and one at the back and single crochet and then one at the front and one at the back and single crochet um, and I need two more so I'm gonna be where those stitch markers were one at the front one at the back single crochet um, and then one at the front one at the back single crochet so now I have six single crochets across and from here we're just going to go back to working or we're going to start working flat. So I've just got six single crochets. We're going to chain one and do six single crochets across. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got the start of our hand. And if we look at the directions back there, that's what we're going to do for all of rows 7 through 16. So I just did row 7. We're just going to continue to chain off and do 6 single crochets across. So for row 8 here, chain 1 and six single crochets across and just keep on repeating. Already forgotten how many rows I've done six seven eight nine so I'm gonna pause it and just continue to do that up through row 16 okay um, so I've continued up through 16 and what I'm going to do now is just cut the yarn here and leave a long end and then just yarn over and pull it through the hook and pull it all the way through and tighten it so now I have my yarn, um, one of my arms, and you're just going to repeat that again. And it will probably twist a little, that's just kind of the nature of um, single crochets sometimes, but it'll go away once we attach it and shape them a little bit. So there you go, make a second one of those.